Don't want you to get in All trouble. Right. So this is your honest reaction. You've never seen Stay Alive. You've never seen the trailer for Stay Alive. So nope. we're going to show you the Stay Alive trailer. So this movie came out in 2006. I've seen this movie multiple times, so I'll have to sit down one day and watch this and, like, get an actual reaction from you for the movie, because this is by far one of my favorite movies. Are you ready? I'm about as ready as you are. All right. I won't pause it either. Play this yeah, don't game, pause bro. it. Yeah? Seriously, it's creepy. <laughs> oh. And we're watching this at 3 a.m. just for anybody knows. Yeah, not a not a lot of stories. Not not a good time to watch this movie, but yeah, no, well, nice. fuck it. Sweet. Right. Sebastian Bach, I want to play. Miller, you signed in yet? I'm here. All right, let's boot it up. One four is addicted. The name of this game is Stay Alive. We don't know much else other than we're not supposed to have it. Whoa. You guys feel that? Hell yeah. So what happened? Oh, what's that? What's that? When the game you're playing. Damn it, man, she got me. Some, some, some woman, man. The game's playing you. Hey, somebody out there? Holy shit. Miller, who are you talking to, man? You play the game too long. You know, you start seeing stuff. Hello? <laughs> God damn! This can't just be a coincidence. I think you're right. Serious man, listen to yourself. Don't you get it? If you die in the game, you die for real. Oh no. Anybody out there? Hey. Oh, Alright, so me being somebody that's actually seen the movie, obviously, you know, my thoughts are it, it's a great movie, I loved it, I absolutely enjoyed it. I've never seen the trailer, although that is the very first time I've ever watched the trailer. So what are your thoughts? I'm curious as to wow, what your thoughts on the trailer. dude, oh my god. There's so many times where I've just wanted to jump out of my own seat, dude. Like... That one scene at the end, man, where that the, the fucking doll. Oh my god! Do you do you like? Feel, I personally, it. Do you feel like it's oh a movie my, that you would oh. sit down and watch? Just off. The oh, hundred 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 percent. You know, it looks like a good movie. I've I have never watched this movie. Cross my heart. I've never seen this before. You know, yes, it came out in two thousand six, and obviously I was six years old at that time. I've never seen this movie. So yes, I would 100% sit down and watch this movie. So the story base well, for really the good. movie, the story base for the movie is it was based off of a countess that was in like the 1800s. Her name was Countess Elizabeth Bathory, and she used to kill girls younger than her, young girls, because she thought bathing in their blood made her pretty. She hated seeing herself get old. Uh, the movie basis is uh, there's a video game made kind of about her life. There's a prayer that you have to read in the beginning, which kind of starts the whole chain of everything. Then the game starts playing by itself. Don't matter if you put it down or if you play it, it starts playing by itself. Then you see where, like, Swink unlocked the door and the house unlocked. That's because Swink unlocked the door in the game because he had a key, the house opened. And there's one scene in the movie where he puts a crowbar on the step, and then Hutch finds a crowbar laying on the step. So, like, the game becomes reality. Really fucking cool, honestly. I think it's one of the coolest movies I've watched. A lot of people, it's it's underrated for what it is. A lot of people didn't like the movie, but me personally, it's one of my favorite movies. 
The best version is the director's cut. It's unrated. It shows a lot more than the version that we can actually watch shows. But, uh, yeah, dude, if we ever get a chance to sit down and actually watch it one day, I'd highly, highly recommend Stay Alive. It's one of my favorite movies. Perfect. I was saying, it looks like a really good movie. You know, there's a lot of jump scares at times. I was just like, oh man, like, is it gonna, it gets way better towards the end. But I, I gladly enjoyed the trailer. I can't wait to see the full thing. I uh, just playing off of, uh, to me, I think what really sets it apart from anything else is the fact that it's based on, it's a video game movie. And, and I yeah, really. It's... I hope someday somebody cashes in on the golden opportunity, especially with where gaming is now, to make it a game. I think it would sell a lot. I think it would be something within the horror genre that people would want to see. Oh, 100%. And since this movie came out in 2006, you know, I feel like it inspired a lot of other movies that, you know, we've grown to know and love, you know, and even like Pixel Up or whatever that movie is, you know. I feel like even horror games like i feel like it had a lot to do with the genre of horror and where the horror games have come i feel like this game you know on there it's shown to be like the playstation 2 era of games so you know back on like playstation 2 i I feel like if somebody revamped this with the graphics we have now i think it'd be a damn good video game and i think i think it needs a remake you know, I think it needs a new cast of characters, still keep the same premise of what it is, and I think they could really do well with the movie. And, you know, it honestly wonders me now, is there actually a game for Stay Alive on PS2? So, the, the, game, actually questions me. the game was never actually released, believe me, I did a lot of research on it. I fell in love with the movie the first time I watched it. I never actually watched a trailer, I found out about it, I was walking through a store one time, and I've seen a case that said Stay Alive. It was a rated R movie. had a video game controller. I thought it'd be cool to watch. Um, uh, there was a lot of mods that people tried to do for other games. You can actually pull those up on the internet. Uh, there was a lot of mods people did for certain games, which they never fully came to be what they were. People couldn't get back for doing them and stuff like that. But, you know, I think with what gaming is now and how far gaming's come, I think it'd be a really cool game. It'd be something definitely to cash in on for sure. Oh, yeah, for sure. And, you know, well, I said you saying this is on PS2, you know, what about regular graphics now? You know, what would it look like? Could it be like Phasmophobia? Could it be a little bit better? You know, like maybe with the hauntings. Could you imagine? Maybe with. Could you imagine this shit on like Unreal Engine? Like what what they could do with it on Unreal Engine? Unreal Engine 5. Put it on that. It's golden. It's definitely something that I hope at some point somebody cashes in on. To me, personally, it's a great movie. I fell in love with it. I think it's one of the best horror movies for that year that are out there. And I hope we get to do some more stuff like this for you guys. You know, Leave us a comment. Tell us what you want to see us react to. Uh, me and Andrew is going to be starting our own our own little thing here. We're going to try to do some podcast episodes, just different stuff. You know, games, movies, music, you know, whatever. Just let us know what you guys want to see us react to. Mainly, it's been horror. And yeah, so that was his reaction, his first official reaction. You also got mine. I've never seen the trailer for these movies. I know there's multiple trailers out there. And now the next question is, do you want to see another trailer for Stay Alive, maybe? 100%. We, we can look I'd at be a, down to see it. We can look at another trailer. I think there's, I think there's multiple trailers for the movie. Oh, let's see. That was trailer one. Uh, this is actually a story recap, so this is a recap of the movie. You don't want to watch that right now. That might that might kind of ruin it. Uh, there's a how to beat on it and whatever the hell all this shit is. Uh, those are deleted, so there's deleted scenes for the movie. There's like 15 minutes of those. I think um, we watched the only trailer that there is for Stay Alive. It's a classic trailer. That was ten years ago. Yeah, it's the same that, that looks like it's gonna be the same trailer. Yeah, it's the same. Yeah, so, it's the same trailer. So maybe there was only one trailer. Maybe there was just. One and it's trailer. unfortunate, you know. I said there there could have been more trailers for this. There could have been, but the trailer that we did get, I enjoyed it. It was a really good trailer. Oh, that's not what we needed to see on YouTube. Oh yeah, no, definitely not. Now, I mean, if you wanted to look at it. Um, 
we could take a look at a couple of the different scenes if it's something you were interested in looking at. I'm totally up to you. Oh, and apparently there's a game narrator. So this scene. was this was something kind of cool that they did. So this is actually in the beginning of the movie. Welcome. If you're listening to this, it means you've made a grave mistake. You I'll actually point something out to you too. Soon, you will die for it. At this very moment, the evil of this place courses through your veins. You have been marked for death. Your choice has. Shit! I just heard, hang on. I realize we're not watching this in full screen. It's brought you here. To Garouge Plantation. 200 years ago, Countess Elizabeth Bathory opened Garouge as a finishing school for young girls. Garouge. You've heard of it? Yeah, do you remember that Grandma used to tell us that if we didn't get home before dark, we'd get taken off by yeah, something? Yeah, uh, do you remember Grandma used to wear panties on the outside? Seriously, though, I, I know this, you guys. I've heard this. <laughs> what happened to those girls was so depraved that all accounts were stricken from public record. The evil of Garouge has been reborn. Your salvation lies beyond the gates of this plantation. Your only chance is this. Uncover the horrible truth about Garouge Plantation and stop the evil. But in order to do that, you must stay alive. See, that's what I'm getting at. Just what they, what they did... What they did with the movie, and then like not they could have made this. that. So this was yeah, at, they... it looks like this was Disney's uh Disney made this. Take on it. Like. Let's see what this is. Huh. So it looks like there could have been an actual movie. Whoa! That's low key scared the fuck out of me. So this is something, <laughs> just... this is something that somebody else has created. This isn't the actual thing. It would have been cool to fucking see though, honestly. It looks identical. Definitely looks identical to the actual game trailer that we just seen. Oh, yeah, so wow. that's, definitely, wow. that's definitely something that somebody created. Really fucking cool. Honestly, I think that... Uh, I think it would have been something cool for somebody to cash in on. Um, oh, 100%. In my opinion, it would have made a wonderful... I think it would have made a wonderful video game. I don't know why nobody cashed in on it, but, you know, it is what it is. Can't, you can't win them all, I guess. I hope that one day somebody sees it and they decide that that's something they need in their life. But with that yeah. being said, however, guys, it is like 3.30 in the morning that we're recording this shit. I'm tired as fuck. I got an early morning. We're about 15 minutes in, so hopefully by the time you guys are seeing this, you guys kind of get an idea of what we're trying to do. Uh, this is just something new that we're going to try to start doing. We're going to try to post at least once a week. Uh, it'll probably be on a... The Mr. T page for now, um, we may make something later on to actually upload these two, just so you guys don't have all the Mr. T stuff Stay on, tuned. on the reactions. So. Yeah, hopefully we get to do more of this stuff for you guys, and you guys enjoy it. Uh, with that being said, this is Andrew. I'm Anthony. We'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace, guys.